All right. All right, I got Buddy Boy's new longer yoke. Extended it 28 inches. So it's as big as it'll ever need to be. He's gonna be growing another foot taller and another foot longer. So I had to make it really long. Got a good order going on here. You got the ram in the back who's helping to keep happy going forward because she is probably the worst at keeping up with all of us. She doesn't mind having her neck being tugged on, dragging her ass. So the ram being on her ass like that helps to keep her forward so she's not providing any resistance. Not that he would even feel it. This guy's already, this is his third day pulling. He hasn't even started to develop these muscles yet. He hasn't even started to develop his body yet. He's still 11 months old. He's not even halfway, halfway grown. So yeah, this is the order. We got that new tethering uh, anchoring point uh, halfway in between Rosie there and JC where the lambs are doubled up on, on a split lead. But I plan on getting a brake system for this, this wagon and have it installed right here, a little lever, like bicycle brake lever, lever so I can uh, lock it. I'll have like a little locking pin on it. It'd be really nice to have brakes, especially with this powerhouse because um, I have to find a pretty sturdy tether. I have to find a pretty sturdy uh, stake out or a pole or something that's pretty sturdy for me to feel secure enough to tie them up to. His butt only goes back to where that that uh, rope is by the red red leash. We got a new tether. This thing is this new yoke is so long that we're actually able to fit another tethering point on the non-roadside for the ewes to be tethered. And I'm putting my ram in the back. He's going to be carrying pack boxes instead of pulling. And that way I'll be able to meter uh, the weight that he has to overload him when he has too much testosterone and too much energy because I've fed him too well and because uh, ewes are, are in heat. At the time, uh, if I need to down throttle his energy a little bit, I'll just pack more weight in him and his bags, his pack boxes. Or if we're going through an area where I'm um, continually having to tether him up in areas that doesn't have very good graze and his energy levels start to drop, then I can take the weight out and put it in the wagon because um, this new weather is going to be plenty big enough to pull any amount of weight that I'm even physically capable of packing into this wagon. They say that you're not supposed to make a draft animals pull um, a vessel that weighs more than twice their own weight and that's accounting for it being flat level terrain with no headwind. So my ram over there has been pulling this wagon it only weighs 150 pounds so i've been having to keep this wagon under 300 pounds which is surprisingly difficult to do the wagon itself is 125 pounds so i'm allotted 175 pounds which sounds like a lot of weight and it is it's just really it's uh um i think that allowing another 100 pounds would allow for you to fully utilize the space you're really having to um, right now, I'm well over 300 pounds right now, just with all my stuff in it. So, and my ram has wanted to pull that, despite that uh, that weight being technically too much for him. He's wanted to pull that, so I haven't really argued with him until uh, I realized that uh, that they make these huge monster rams that get up to 500 pounds, and who then can technically pull wagons up to a thousand pounds on flat ground um, there is no way that I can get this wagon to weigh a thousand pounds I don't think it could physically hold 300 or I don't think it could physically hold a thousand pounds I think it would start to warp the frame if I tried to load that much on it and pull it around for a day or two so yeah <clears throat> so this is the update